So the biggest advice I would give upcoming, wait, are we doing eighth graders? Well, a piece of advice that I give to the incoming eighth graders, class of 26, man, I'm old. Uh, <laughs> piece of advice I would give to the eighth graders is do everything you can your freshman year and find out as much as you can. Go to school events, like get involved. They're fun sometimes. But like it helps you get closer with a lot of other students and teachers too. Um, I'm gonna say be involved that, with things that make you want to go to school. Probably join a sports, like play a sport, join a team and you can like meet a lot of people that way, create connections. You won't feel so alone and so helpless because you'll feel really good about, you know, I have a good supportive group of friends. It's nothing like middle school at all. Uh, in high school, you should take your classes a little more seriously. I mean, in middle school, they'll push you through with a lot of stuff. Keep up with your work. Don't turn it in late because if you do, you're going to have a hard time because the teacher's not going to wait for you to get all your stuff done. Like middle school, it's going to keep on going with the lessons. You're gonna fall behind. You'll have a really hard time. High school teachers really don't play. In eighth grade, they give you chances. They really don't give you. I mean, chances in high school. So, we'll just say, focus. Focus on your work. And if you have study hosts, actually do use it. Don't do your work. Don't just sit in there and be on your phone. Cause then one piece of advice I'll give eighth graders that are coming to high school is to do your work before it's late. Cause after it's late and all the zeros build up, it's very very hard to turn them in. Uh, I just say stay on top of your grades as soon as you come in freshman year. You don't have to try and recover trying to uh, get yourself back into uh, good habits sophomore, junior, and senior year. You're going to start off the school year and it's going to feel all easy and fine. But by the end of the school year, if you don't do anything, you're going to realize that you're going to have a hard time passing. Don't slack off like your work to last minute and procrastinate because you learn the hard way and and you're just putting more work on yourself if you start to procrastinate. Honestly, just like try your best, work very hard. You get like the right motivation. For me, it's football, but like whatever it is, whatever somebody else to do that, it's motivation. And just get you, keep your grades up. Because once you slack, you fall behind. Crazy. And this is not like middle school. You need credits. And you need to stay on top of your credits. You need a certain amount of credits. So, you wouldn't want to do after, I mean, summer school or credit recovery, you want to stay on top of your credits because it's hard to get credits. No matter how hard things get, always work hard because no matter how bad things get, you're always going to be blessed if you keep working hard. Oh, definitely, definitely. Don't get in no drama. That's honestly, like you can really do anything. Once you focus on your work, and you got a good group of friends, you good. Keep your friend group small, cause people don't, in high school, everyone thinks that everyone's friends. Everyone is not your friend. So I suggest that you keep a very young group, very small in high school, and don't really tell a lot of people your stuff. Don't trust everybody. Keep your circles really, really small, because the smaller you have them, the more tight that they are. The bigger that they are, the more drama and the more hurt you're gonna end up being. Come to the ninth grade, you definitely gotta put some friends aside. Don't really be around that group. That's like gonna drag you down. Like, you really gotta stay on top of your work and you don't really want nobody distracting you from that. Like, taking you from that. Like, you need to, you come here, I feel like you can only help yourself. You're just stuck around the same people that enforce these bad habits and, you know, don't be afraid to branch out and meet new people. Get a good group of friends, like a good group of friends that you can rely on for the whole year because it's kind of scary. That's all. Uh, fights, none of that. Don't, like, don't let drama get to you because the fights can go on your permanent record and it can ruin your whole future and the high school can determine your future. Find, find like a good like friend group to be around, but like don't let them like be like the center of everything. Like don't let them like dictate like who and who you cannot like talk to. Some people that are on the journey, they on the journey for a short period of time until you know they veer off and they go through their own thing and they create their own path. Every person's path is different. You just gotta figure out what your end goal is and who you really know is gonna help you get to that end goal. 
you know, just stay out of trouble. It, it's, there's no point to really get into trouble when you can thrive as a kid and there's just better things you can do when you stay on top of your work. Yeah, um, so the advice I would give to my eighth grade self is, first of all, have time management because like, first of all, the volunteer hours, when you're a freshman, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but then when you're a senior and you haven't done any volunteering, and then you're like, oh, well, what am I supposed to do now? So that's one. And like, I got a planner, and getting a planner actually helped me, like, remember to do my homework. I wrote down everything, no matter what, even if it was, like, little, and I didn't think I'd forget it. Keep up with your labs, and don't fall behind on schoolwork, because you need the labs to do the Regents exam at the end of the year. And you need 30 in total to even take the test. I think one thing, I was actually thinking about this the other day, like when you're in ninth grade, your grades matter a lot because it all adds up at senior year when you're trying to apply to colleges and like you get your transcript and you're like, oh, why didn't I do better? It's because you have to apply yourself like all through high school. You have one teacher that you could talk to and it can help you out always. Never be scared of hide your pain or your emotions, because that can really help you whatever you gotta go, like what you got going for your life and help you for college and all this. But yeah, having good relationships with your teachers is like really important because if they can get like a personal feeling from you, they'll be willing to help you because you're connecting with them on a personal and a professional level, if that makes sense. So you see, um, I usually stay after, well, yeah, just remedial, stay after every day. And it does, I mean, sometimes, I, I used to say it didn't help in the beginning, but then it eventually started helping me. The counselors and the teachers, they're here for you. They'll help you, but only if you ask them. But you also have to become independent and do your work. Well, if you have the opportunity to take advanced classes, honors classes, AP classes, that you really should take it. It looks really good for college and you'll be ahead, even if it means not being in classes with your friends. Cause, cause I'm like in my junior year right now and it's my first year taking an AP. I'm taking a few harder classes, like college level classes. And like I regret not taking any my sophomore year or even my freshman year, if I had a chance, I don't know. I didn't really start utilizing my counselor seriously until like junior year, which was my biggest regret. You shouldn't like try to be someone that you're not and try to like fit in with other groups of people. Just be yourself and like find people that you would be comfortable with being yourself around. Because a lot of people try to like, you know, follow the leader and play along with other people and can lead them into bad habits. Just because you did bad in middle school doesn't mean you'll do bad in high school. You just have to turn it around when it counts. Straightforward, just do what you have to do. Don't mess around. Freshman year is definitely the worst year because like you just came from the middle school. You don't know how to act. You think you own the world. It's not the case. You will get taught that. So just do what's expected of you, honestly. Completely different from middle school. You're not going to pass. It's up to you if you pass. Mm -hmm. It's not up to nobody but you. You want to stay on top of your credit, seriously. Like, that's the biggest thing with me. Have as much fun as you possibly can because it's only four years of high school. But also get yourself prepared for the times coming out of high school. To leave all that attitude and the disrespect and the nonchalant and all the other stuff back there and come here as a new person because you get a fresh start. And set goals for high school. Set goals for high school that you will want to achieve during the four year span. My advice is effort. Um, you know, everything is about effort. You know, do the work, do the homework, do the projects, come to school on time. And because realistically, that's high school is where you get to a point in your life where things get more important. And be yourself and just be your, your authentic you and get your work done. Don't be an NPC. If you don't know what NPC is, it's a non playable character. Don't be the kid walking around the hallways, not making jokes, just looking at the ceiling with your hood on. You know, try to have fun, find you a group of kids to go with, and chill with them. Use your time wisely because although you think four years is a long time in high school, four years is really not a long time. 
High school is gonna fly by. Have fun, be, be successful, like enjoy the time while you're there because it's, it's gonna be so fast. Like you would never know. I mean, it's a it's a four years, but it's like it's it's like this.